Hi guys and welcome to Caravanery. In this week's vlog we're going to be looking at how to make your life easier when it comes to booking a holiday. Welcome to Caravanery. Hi guys, in last week's video we looked at the low-tech option or books as they're known as by anyone born before the millennium. In this week's vlog we're looking at how to use apps and websites to make your life a little easier when it comes to booking a holiday. We're going to run through five simple steps to help your planning and the journey you go on and everything in between run really smoothly to make sure you enjoy your holiday from the second you leave the house. Okay, it may sound obvious, but deciding on which type of trip to go on will vastly narrow your options and will help you plan and book the holiday far easier. Whether you want to be active or whether you want to chillax by the side of the caravan, whether it's going to be a scorching weekend and you want to spend most of it in your shorts and flip-flops barbecuing, it'll narrow down your options and then you're not scanning the vast array of the United Kingdom or Europe deciding where to go. The next thing to focus on is where to stay. And with the vast array of options out there, hopefully being narrowed down by you picking which type of trip you want to go on, fortunately there are a range of apps out there and websites to help you decide where to stay. Looking at the Google app, obviously very familiar to lots of people. The way we like to use it in terms of planning a holiday is to actually look at the particular area and type in caravan parks. So in this case, St. Ives Caravan Parks. That'll give us a series of listings and also a map we can look at. I really like to look at the map feature and just have a look in the locality to see where some of these sites are. I'm going to select Pole Manta because we've been there and thought it was a superb site. Um, when you select a particular site, you can have at a glance, you can see where it is in location wise. There's over a hundred pictures for you to look at. And also, you at a glance, you can see some reviews as well. So if the site's got bad reviews, move on to the next one. If it's got good reviews, have a look at the website and try and make a booking. In addition to this, Google is also very good at seeing what there is to do in a particular area. So here we've got things to do. There's also an overview of an area and even a travel guide as well. Google is great, but when coupled with an old-fashioned resource like this, you can have a really powerful way of finding and booking trips. I go through the AA Caravan and Camping book and um, look at the sites based on rating and location and close proximity to a pub, and then we make our booking. So I use this, I flick through the book, and then use Google to see if there's availability, how you can access the site, where it is in terms of where you want to go, and then finally to make a booking. Really, really like the Caravan and Motorhome Club apps and website. You can see there you can search by a map. I've run a search for Glasgow and I'm just I can scroll through the various sites that have been returned in that search. Going into a particular site that allows you to refine and make a booking based on site availability through date or the amount of days or nights you want to stay. You can also select by pitch type and the amount of people who are staying. Going back to the listings, um, you can scroll up and down. The home page is good because you can refine within a particular radius of a place. You can search sites, list favourites and manage your bookings through the home page. But what I really like about this app is the fact that you can filter based on what's important to you and the filters are excellent. You can select things, swimming pool, members only, adults only, for example, what facilities are on the site or even if you fancy a spot to fish in. The magazine app is also really, really good for looking at back issues uh, and downloading those straight to your device. You can even scroll through the, the, the club's news as well, which I find a really nice feature. Going on to the website, you can book a club site directly and quickly from the homepage or, and I've gone straight into this, the um, overseas sites page, which we found really, really helpful in booking a site in France and we'll feature that in, the, in a vlog coming up. You can obviously book a UK holiday and lots of options there. There's a shops, um, a club shop feature, which is fantastic to look at buying different things and even a classified section as well. All in a feature packed range of apps and a really, really good website as well. Okay, so we know where we're going and we know which type of holiday we want to go on. The next step is to use these apps to make the most of the time that you have and really, really enjoy your holiday. Next up we have TripAdvisor, a fantastic app for you, not only to plan where you're going, but also to plan what you do when you get there. Uh, I really use this for things to do and also restaurants. We found some fantastic restaurants over the years using TripAdvisor. Running a search here for St. Ives, you can see all the dots of places to eat and drink. And I think, okay, there's far too many in one place. 
so you can refine based on cuisine and you can also rank order in terms of reviews from people who've been there, seen it and done it before you. Same exactly with um, things to do. If it's raining or if it's a really nice day, you can choose which kind of activities, either, either before you go or pull the app out in, uh, in your smartphone and decide while you're there. Okay, so we've got the BBC Weather app next. And again, this may sound like really obvious advice, but when it comes to planning a trip, it's important to know what to take with you, whether you're taking your sun cream or your wet weather gear. And in all honesty, from experience with the balmy British weather, you'll probably end up taking both. Another really useful tool for us is the Notes app and this is because we can create a list and then all we need to do is tweak or add to it. We can collaborate on it and when we tick things off it updates in real time between us so we make sure that we leave the house or when we pack the caravan we leave nothing behind. So the next thing to focus on is how you get there and what I like to do is try and make the journey as I'm sure you all do very very simple and straightforward. In the early days we were too reliant on the sat nav which was too reliant on taking us down some uh, some B roads to try and make the journey one minute faster and ended up making the journey a hell of a lot slower for us. So what we do now is we have the sat nav on in the background but before we go away I use this. We sit down with a marker with a highlighter and mark out the route from A to B, right the way from the storage yard where the caravan is, all the way to the caravan park, however far away that is. To complement our trusty roadmap, we use Apple Maps as well. Very, very, very good in finding out what the last leg of the journey has in store for you. More often than not, you're going to be going up a B road to the caravan park. So I run a search on the caravan park look at the satellite view and zoom in. In this case we had three options to get to the caravan park and this was my preferred option because I can clearly see there are two lanes moving right up to the very last turn before we get to the park itself. So the last thing anyone wants to think about when they're booking a trip is coming home. But unfortunately we can't spend our lives on holidays. Uh, well maybe some people can but we certainly can't. And um, when it comes to coming home I think one thing we've learned is that you drive home maybe three, four, five hours, whatever it might be. You get to the storage yard, you set, you, you pack the caravan up, you put things in the car, you put all the, the clothes in the car, do the washing etc etc. Then you're driving home and thinking oh we need milk, we need bread, we need you know whatever it might be for the next few days and it ends up being an extra chore that you've got to do then you've then got to bring shopping bags into the house as well as all the caravan gear you've got to unpack everything and it just adds a little bit too much for us in terms of coming home from a trip you should be coming home refreshed relaxed and making you know just just enjoying the whole experience but by having to do a shop it just adds a little bit of something that we didn't want so we don't want to have to do so we use the Tesco's grocery app, it remembers previous orders, easy to find and order things, we pay monthly so that all deliveries for the rest of the month are free, very very useful in getting um, groceries delivered to the door to save us shopping on the way home. There's also a range of other apps in our travel box, ACSI, contrary to the name it's not there to help you solve crimes but it will help you solve the problem of finding out which sites to book and where to go. In addition to that, if you've got a long journey or maybe some bad weather forecast to keep some passengers young and old entertained, we've got SkyGo as well. So we can download some content on there, similar to Spotify, which is great for putting together playlists uh, and maybe something for a road trip as well. Reminders is also useful in that you can set it by your location. So you can set a reminder to say, remind me when I leave the house to take the caravan keys with me. And also we've um, covered the Notes app too. Okay, I hope you found this vlog useful. We've looked at a range of different apps and a, and a few tips and tricks that we've learnt along the way in a couple of books as well. Um, and used together, we found them to be tremendously helpful in, in, in making our lives easier when it comes to booking holidays. There's also a vlog by Dan Trudgeon which focuses on his top five caravanning apps. Really, really useful and I'll leave a link to that in, in the description. If there are things that I've missed out or things that you do that you find work really well, please leave a comment. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please do subscribe. And whatever you do guys, make the most of your time. Thank you. In this week's vlog, we're going to...